in this clip I will demonstrate uh, the way to make an angular of internationalization uh, using NGX translate so uh, this is the example of actually I am going to make it uh, internationalization or multilingual uh, currently I am planning to use two languages one is Bangla and another one is English first uh, see uh, how to install the NGX translate let's browse the NGX translate dashboard so this is the github repository for NGX translate so it says the internationalization library for angular so let's go to in installation so here is the installation command so paste it and press enter so okay NGX translate has been ins installed and then the next step so import the translate module so uh, into the main module of of my app or here is the main module is app module so let's paste here and use it the import section for root it is for root because it is the main module oh, when I use in the uh, child module or lazy loaded module we will use it for child so next step I need to create a folder name it i18n and I'll create two JSON file one is bn.json since and another one is en.json here bn is the browser if browser language name and a browser language name of Bangla and en is the browser uh, language name of English so I have already prepared the JSON file for this application so here is the uh, JSON file for Bangla so I should put it on Bangla bn.json and this is the JSON file for en JSON and I paste it on en.json file here I made I'm done with the JSON preparation let's our first plan to uh, translate this nav menu so let's start here I see the home so instead of uh, the home oh, we can use the JSON object here uh, in this way so here we see in dot json at the menu dot home menu dot home actually contain uh, the name of the home nav menu home within the string lateral and I should use a translate so 
so and subsequently I should use everything actually this is customers this is customers and this one is item This one is language option. Dot caption. Let's see what happened. Actually, this this is not working. So let's see. So, since oh, this is the configuration here. Uh, the configuration says that there is no loader available uh, you can add translation manually using if there is no lo loader available you can add translation manually using set translation but it is better use the loader you can write your own loader or import existing one so so to use it you need to install the HTTP loader package from NGX translate so uh, we should we must have a this package so NGX translate HTTP loader has been uh, installed successfully. So, then what should we do actually? Uh, we should create our custom loader. So, then within the app module. The app module file translate HTTP loader is missing. So, here is the translate HTTP loader. And another thing need to export. Translate loader is missing in translate loader. We need to put the comma here. So where is the translate loader? Translate loader. So translate module comma translate loader. So this is fine. Everything the loader is let's see let's run the application again okay application has been r run let's see what happened okay still no luck to see the translation so this might be the problem let's say I 
uh, still no lag oh actually we should use the services actually we should use this command so here app component uh, we need to use the translate service that comes from the NGX translate this will actually load the languages so for here is already the translate service already created some code I can use here uh, here first one is th this is the translate service this comes from the NGX translate and first one said that translate at length how many languages we are using this app one is n another one is bn and I said that this is the default length that is n but next time I am checking what is the browser length the translated grid browser lang is a return the language of the browser and then translate dot use browser lang it, it it says that uh, you must use the browser lang when when loaded the application let's see oh, i did not save the app component ts uh, now it's working because the browser language is right now of my application is uh, English let's change the browser language from here settings uh, advanced and languages here we see my browser language is English since I am uh, seeing the uh, it behaves like a local language is English and I'm uh, I see the English version of my app then I need to change there is uh, there is no Bangla actually so I can add if uh, there is not my desired language within the list then source Bangla so add and make it display Google Chrome in this language make it Bangla now my browser la language become Bangla and relance my browser so here we can see yes Abbas Kreta Utpadita Bustu this is fine I think we are all set for uh, internationalization the so next clip I'll explain uh, how to change the languages from the drop down thank you